Hi, I'm Caleb. I've been using model trains and videos for years, but I don't have the best track record when it comes to customizations. I'm trying to get better at it, so join me as I dive into the world of miniature modeling. This is Caleb's Trains. This video is not made for kids. I will be showcasing dangerous tools and toxic materials that are potentially hazardous. Children should not have access to these, and please remember to use proper safety techniques. Thanks. Oh dear. Looks like you two got some of the bad Duck the Great Western Engine is undeniably a fan favorite character, but when I started doing these new custom models, I had no intention of making him. Explain this behavior. I like Duck, don't get me wrong, but I've been making the characters that I'll need for a specific project, and as that developed, Duck became necessary. So here we are. I don't like it, but I'll have to go along with it. Somehow, he always finds a way, doesn't he? The Great Western Way, all the wrong way. Aw, oh, you know I had to do it once. There is a 3D print available for Duck, but like I said, I had not initially planned to make him. I already owned two Bachman Ducks, and I think it's a decent representation of the character. Something I noticed though about the Bachman model is that some releases have the sandbox cap and others don't. But why? Why would you do that? It seems like it was removed in later waves, but I have no idea why. Of the two models I owned, it was tempting to use the new one. My first model of Duck was crusty with crude modifications and weathering. However, I liked the challenge of cleaning it up. It also had the sandbox caps, so yeah. I doused Duck in a chemical bath just to get rid of the dust and wear down his clear coat I had given him back in 2014. Then I sanded the shell down and removed the molded handrails. I had already cut open the cab all those years ago, so thanks past me. I used filler in a few spots and then drilled out the holes for the handrail knobs to go later. I gave him a coat of primer and then had to make a decision. Because this was the Bachman shell, the body and the running board were combined. This was going to make masking very difficult. In the show, Duck has a grey running board like most of the engines, but he later gained a black running board in CGI, and you know what, I dig it. It also meant less masking work, so yeah. I sprayed all of him black and then masked around his wheel arches and toolboxes. Another coat of primer was applied and then it was time for green. I used the same shade that I gave Henry and Percy a custom mix of the Volkswagen color called Willow Green. I removed the tape and proceeded to glue on his buffers. I wanted his red paint to be sprayed, so that meant the rest of him got masked. Duck's funnel was sprayed black, using more masking tape to get the square base shape. From there, I began adding some of his handrails, but not all of them. I still had to apply his lettering, and I didn't want the handrails in the way. I decided Clifford's water slide transfers would work for his GWR lettering. The black shadow isn't show accurate, but I think it complements the black running board. This was the first time I used transfers, and I was nervous about it. But you know what? There was no need to be. It was very straightforward, and all I had to do was soak them in lukewarm water for a minute, pull them out using tweezers, and slide them onto Duck's tanks. It's recommended to put water on the target surface, so you have some wiggle room to get the placement you want. After that, thanks to the train modeler, I used transfers for his number 8s. I wasn't nervous this time, but I should have been. He tried to tell me that I had to give these transfers three clear coats before using them. I didn't understand what he meant though, so I went ahead how I had before, and completely ruined them. They just disintegrated. Luckily, he knows me well and sent an extra set. Thanks. I finished his handrails, pain, and with a few extra details and some weathering, Duck was ready. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment. It means a lot. Thank you.